So basically, Uganda, most people in Uganda depend on agriculture as their livelihood. They depend on it as a source of food, source of income. So obviously, with this constantly changing climate, the, maybe the long droughts, yeah. the heavy rainfalls, the farmer's work is going to be affected a lot. And this farming is mostly carried out by the women because it's put to the work for women. Like, yeah. how is it like gender stereotype that women are done to carry out farming? So basically, if the long droughts, those heavy rainfalls, so with long droughts, it leads to death of food crops. These food crops, maybe if they die, there will be no food for the family, no income. In yeah. turn, women are forced to travel long distances, maybe looking for food for the family. You know that motherly heart. And moving those long distances, they encounter a lot of harassment. Some women may encounter a man, maybe a man tells you, I'll trade you food. Maybe we trade food for sex. You give me food in exchange for sex. That is some harassment they face. Some girls travel those long distances and they may encounter rape. And also this lack of water. You know, girls are the ones that do the house chores at home. So obviously a girl is going to be sent to go fetch that water, maybe look for water at some well. And the boys will obviously go to attend school and the girl is going to miss out school. You miss out so many things. These things lead to the many dropouts, children dropping out. Yeah. And then early marriages leading to the early marriages dropping out. Then also fathers, this patriarchy community where but if a man, there is lack of food due to the climate crisis, the man will be frustrated. And this frustration, maybe he may resort to alcohol drinking and he brings back the violence back to the home. He's frustrated. He starts beating up the wife, maybe and the kids because he cannot provide. He's just simply frustrated. Some fathers due to that, like they can decide with the mother lacking the money. They say, you know what? Let's just trade our kid. We marry her off. We get dowry in turn. And maybe the kid will get a place to sleep and what to eat. So this leads to early marriages, early pregnancies, and all those things that a girl child can encounter. And then also is, for example, the floods, the landslides in Bududa that were caused by those heavy rainfalls. They can lead to like so many people are displaced, people lose homes. This displacement, you don't have where to sleep. People are not safe, most especially women, women and girls sleeping outside. It's very risky for women, women and girls to be outside. It increases those, we are so insecure, like it increases the cases of rape against women and girls. So women need to be more safe inside. Okay. And also you realize when it's this crisis, these crises come like, when a crisis comes, it's mostly women and girls that are affected because they are already facing gender inequalities and discrimination. So when a crisis hits, it hits the girls and the women mostly.